Hi everybody, I'm Tim Hallam. Today we will be photographing Susan Creek Falls. Susan Creek Falls is a waterfall uh, kind of in between Crater Lake and Roseburg, Oregon along the North Umpqua River and Highway 138. I'm about 100 yards out of the parking lot. Just started up the trailhead and we have some pretty nice conditions right now. A little bit of dappled light throughout the woods and overcast skies. It's about 2 p.m. right now, so I think we have some promising water conditions ahead of us. This time of year in the Pacific Northwest, the mosses really stand out. It's late January right now, and all the leaves, the green foliage, is uh, you know it's turned to fall and it's fallen, and that allows a little bit more light to come in to the forest. And then on top of that, all the the rain and snow that we get really makes the mosses just glow and everywhere you look it's just glowing moss it's really uh, quite a sight so if, you, if you're into photographing moss definitely the winter time in the Pacific Northwest even though it's cold and wet outside it's definitely the time you want to do it all right just got First glimpse of the waterfall right back there. And uh, this trail goes about another 50 feet and then it ends. But right down here it continues uh, down over that way. And that creek, Susan Creek, is really photogenic and it just keeps on going uh, down a ways. And uh, right over here to my left is the footbridge. So that could certainly be a, an element of the photo. Uh, but also I'm wearing my green rubber boots which will allow me to walk in about 16 inches of water which really helps for uh, locations like this. I can already tell at this location there's going to be a lot of different composition uh, to choose from. So we start right here, we're gonna break the ice with this one, see if I can get a shot. This is a pretty nice composition from up here, but I want some more interest in the foreground, so I'll definitely be uh, getting lower. A lower perspective, I think, is what I'm after. Let's go see. I may have gotten an image there, but I'm gonna try to get even closer up into the falls here. There's a lot of mist coming off, the camera glass is already getting wet, so. Uh, hopefully I can get up really close, get a really good, good wide angle shot. Uh, and then once that lens is saturated, there's no avoiding it. But once I get that lens saturated, I'll put my wide angle away, switch to my 50 millimeter, and then stand further back. Hopefully avoiding some of the mist, but uh, still getting kind of a, a close up perspective from that lens. Well, I just tried to get closer to the falls. There's a lot more wind and water coming off of it than there may appear, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make an image there with my DSLR. Uh, so I'm going to switch lenses and uh, try going a little further back. There's a composition here that I see. I can see it from back here, and I know where I'd stand to frame it, but once I'm standing in that location, I'm just inundated with mist spray and wind from the falls. They're really going strong right now. Uh, so that's a little bit frustrating, but I just put my 50 millimeter lens on. Hopefully I can get maybe further back or from a higher perspective and get a similar composition to what I see here and that I want. So I've moved just over to the bridge. I'm about five feet into the bridge and there's a, a really good composition from here. And I'm not, I'm not really against shooting images that are kind of snapshotty or postcardy, 
I just like to do my best to find the most pleasing composition as possible at any given location. And there is another composition that I think is more pleasing than here, but I just can't get out there. There's, there's too much water, too much wind and everything. So I'm way back here, literally in the middle of the trail, in the middle of the bridge, where anybody could go to get the same image. And I'm gonna shoot it because there is a nice composition here, but I'm really frustrated that I, I can't get just a close up of what I'm visualizing visualizing all right i'm gonna shoot this and maybe i'll i'll try to work something else so i've just shot that but the composition that i'm wanting is uh, right there. I've, I really want to be able to stand on that stump that's covered in moss and shoot just that little fall on the other side of it without anything else in the foreground. And that's where I can't get to. So I'm just going to let it go for now and see if I can work some other compositions because this whole area is, is full of them for sure. It's a beautiful area. A little closer to the falls in the, the spray zone again as I'll call it. The stick there on top of that boulder that's really nice. So it's gonna be a quick photo because my camera's gonna get saturated as soon as I pull that lens cap. So hopefully I can hop this fence real quick, set up my composition, snap the photo, and go from there. Two images there, two frames. Maybe one of them won't have water drops. 